What's up, gamers? So one of the players, one of my players came to the table with some stupid ass homebrew basketball Duncan cleric. Uh, so I'm canceling session because I hate all of you. Uh, what up? Session cancel. Hello. How are we doing? Isaiah, say hello. Hi, I am who? Who the fuck? What? Hmm? Hmm? Who out here trying to play LeBron James in D&D? LeBron James, the Listen, cleric. Josh, you don't remember I, that like basketball cleric homebrew you showed me? Josh, I just really like spell jam. Yeah, I, what? I just really not spell jam or space jam. Wow, holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> just crossing the beams. Spe crossing spell, the beams. Spell jammer, space jam, one shot. Let's go, boys. Nah, you'd rather uh, die. Get the <laughs> shit <laughs> <I'm bugged laughs> out of here. Actually, if Matt, you think it, about it, the new space jam movie is basically a spell jammer campaign. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm here too. Matt is also here. <laughs> what the fuck is going Sam on? Sam is not here because something, something, fields, warps, whatever. He didn't want to come out of the warp. We we tried to yeah, extend yeah, yeah. the olive branch and he was like, no, I'm comfortable yeah, here. The, the Imperial tax man was after him and uh, he said he'd figured he'd stay in the warp because there's no taxes there. To which I was like, but there's demons there. And he's like, yeah, I'll take those over the tax men. To which I I'll said, take the demons enough. over the taxes. <laughs> This is where fair you enough, had like the uh, the doom like fucking rip and tear song. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. You can't get in trouble if you apply DACA to, to demons. Yes, yeah, yes. exactly. Uh, but no, the uh, the spicy little tidbit for the intro was because, gentlemen, you know, normally, normally I like my really really specific topics. You know, I really like to drill down on small focus things and complain about it for two hours as you do. But I was feeling a little more broad, feeling a little more general. Today, I just wanted to complain about a lot of things. So we're going to complain because we're talking about shit that pisses us off. Or maybe just slightly. But look, I'm willing to accept everything from slightly bothers me to enrages me deeply at our tables. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The All things are on the episode. table. You know, salt. Eh, salt may be a strong word, but you know, I would like to all. I would wait, like wait, to mention salt is more is more powerful than rage. Um, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> De debatable, <laughs> debatable. Um, so I do want to like uh, preface before you know before the salt mines start flowing. At least for me, I can't speak for these other two hooligans, but. If even if I hate something deeply and don't like, you know, want it at my table or whatever, I'm still sometimes willing to give. You know, I'm not such a sociopath that I'm like, you know, no wizards allowed and I never budge in any way or whatever. Or like, I hate Error Coker with a deep passion because a bird killed my father. Uh, so no one's ever allowed to play bird creatures or whatever. You know, it's, it's not quite because a bird that killed extreme. my father. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> A bird killed my father, just, so just I took have him a deep away. hatred of Eric Coker. Just grabbed him by the <laughs> shoulders, and then he was gone. Yeah, just scooped him up. <laughs> I just, you know, convertibles, they're a dangerous thing, guys. Just, just don't do it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, so yeah, we're just, just things that we hate at our tables. I don't know why I wanted to complain about this. I was just in some kind of a mood, and I didn't have any other strong idea that was really speaking to my loins. Uh, so either you two have anything that you want to... You want to start off with? I do have something spicy if we need to, but... Well, I, I feel like... Oh, that's not good. No? Someone hit the bleep. No? My my cat hit the bleep button on my keyboard. I didn't bleep, know bleep, I bleep. had a bleep button, but I you guess I do. That's you fascinating. Anger, <laughs> you know what angers me? When my cats get all over my keyboard, when I'm when trying to play. When my cats yeah. bother my me, I'm trying to play. Yeah, pretty much. That is what bother. Isn't that right, Maya? You're on my fucking keyboard, and it's pissing me off. Isn't that, that is right? certainly a thing. It yes. isn't that right, you dumb little ow, you motherfucker! Ow, she <laughs> beat the shit out of me. Get out of here. Go. That's shoot. What happens? Shoot. Like, smack the uh, shit. Did you, you guys? Twitch you, you guys like ever that see? Uh, do you guys ever see that gif where it's like the the rogue cleric and it's a cat? The cat bites you, does sneak attack damage, and then heals you afterwards immediately. Like yes. puts a paw on you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm That's sorry, pain. father, for biting That's fucking you. Fucking pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ow. I've had that happen to me. Tabaxi rogue cleric. Let's go. To uh, anyway, Isaiah, before your cat assaulted you, did you have something you were going to complain about? Uh, I, oh, I was going to say th this is your show, so I feel like you should, you should, you should start us off strong. Yeah, host uh, Ron Robin. Let's go. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. You want some shit? 
You want some shit? Josh, why can't you. I just be a dragon board? God! Why can't he be Kermit the Bard, huh? <laughs> why <can't> you know? <laughs> wow, Sorry. you know, Matt, it's really funny that you said that because the oh, first no. thing I was gonna complain about is I fucking hate the wacky woohoo party time parties that D&D has turned into. I said it, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I, and I'll stick to it. Wow, I, I fucking hate when the circus is the D&D party. How, how could you say something controversial yet so wrong? <laughs> Wow, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> One or two is acceptable, but I'm sorry. When I'm running a D&D game and I have a turtle, a Haragon, an Owlin, and an Aarakocra, I have some problems with this situation. Why? Particularly because why is there a rabbit man? But besides that. <laughs> no, you <laughs> let me be a rabbit man. More importantly, Fuck you let me rabbit. turn rabbit man into kangaroo man, make him a monk and I let him I hate box. that even more. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just. Okay, listen. I get it. I get I get it. You know, it's just one of those things. D&D, wacky woohoo races. I get it. But I'm sorry. I just dislike it. I'm not saying everybody has to look like the Fellowship, right? I'm not saying every party has to be the Fellowship of the Ring. But I I would the I'm trying to think of a good like you're tired of you like know, the an there's so many or is it the animal just, people? Is no, it just no, there's no, no, a no. lot it's of animal people there? It's not just the animal people. It's just how fucking circus freak show it gets in general. Because, like, I don't know. There's just the vibe that I want is like, you know, I get it. The players are the weirdos relative to, you know, like normal society, which I understand. But like. You know, I guess the vibe I want is the vibe that they explain in the player's handbook, right? Where, like, basically the two super weird races is the Dragonborn and the Tiefling, right? Like, those are the super mega weirdos. They're, like, really exotic. It'd be very strange if you had more than one of them in a party. You know, all the other races, fairly standard. That kind of a vibe is generally how I like to, I like it, the feel to be, you know? It's mm -hmm. it's it's the Star Wars problem of like too many goddamn Jedi, so you don't care because it's a five man Jedi group, and you're like, what the fuck's going on here? You know, it's like in in the in the main trilogy, they're like, oh, the Jedi were rare and secret and ancient, and then you see the prequels, and there was fucking hundreds of them, and you're like, all right, well that went out the fucking window. It's the same thing in the fucking Kingdom Hearts series, where it's like, Sora, you're special, you have the Keyblade, and it's like. Okay, well, Riku has one, too, so you're a little bit like, but you two are still special. And it's like, okay, well, Mickey has one, too. All right, well, all right, well that's fine. Oh, well, so Kyrie has one, too. And oh, there was actually a war way back in the day where there were thousands of Keyblade. You actually don't matter at all. Who are you again? That shit, I just, it just bugs me, you know? And I think it's because it, and, and here's the thing. I, I understand that a lot of people are going to be like, well, fuck you. I want to play the cool race. But the problem is, if you have a party of a Dragonborn, a Haragon, an Aarakocra, and a fucking Simic hybrid, you're not that cool because everyone's a fucking weirdo. Whereas if you have like a human, an elf, and a half elf, and then a Simic hybrid, that Simic hybrid stands out a lot more. You know, like, oh shit, what's up with that weird blue motherfucker who's got crab arms coming out of his fucking shoulder blades? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's like kind of it's well, kind it, of it's it's for your benefit as a player, too, in a lot of ways, even though you might not feel like it. Yeah, I mean, you know? it, it's kind of hard to sell that to a player, like, admittedly, you, you got it. Uh, I, I don't think it's that hard because, like, here's the thing. I, I think the problem too. the other re this is a multifaceted thing for me. I think the other reason I have beef with it is because a lot of players lean on this as like my character is an interesting character because they're a dragonborn and it's like all right well that's you're just being fucking lazy like you can make an interesting human like everyone makes the meme about the human fighter but i have literally no problem with human fighter like i you could make a perfectly interesting aragorn is a human fighter like I, well uh, human ranger whatever human ranger human fighter have a very similar energy so it's like you could be, uh, fucking t here since we since we mentioned it quite a while ago in the fighter episode, Trevor Belmont is a human fighter and he's fucking sick, you know, but like 
the fact Trevor is a human is not the interesting part. Wouldn't it be more Just rad like, if he was a tiefling, though, with devil horns? No, and he was super it wouldn't. <laughs> That's the thing. It literally wouldn't. He would just have horns. Like, it wouldn't matter. It's the same thing. Like, Alucard being a vampire is not what makes Alucard a compelling or interesting character. It's a minor aspect. The part that makes Alucard interesting is just that he's the bad guy's son, like, or the main thing, not the only thing, is that he's the bad guy's son. The bad guy just happens to be a vampire. The bad guy could be a fucking angel. He could be a demon. He could be Satan himself. It doesn't matter. Alucard being his son is the important part. The fact he's a vampire is actually not really that relevant. And honestly, you tend to forget sometimes that Alucard's a vampire. <laughs> Because he acts fairly human. Well, you, you say that except he was raised he's, by he's people. like doing crazy vampire shit literally constantly. Right, like he has superpowers because, but again, my point is that his superpowers and his attachment to his, his dad can be swapped out for literally anything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a vampire. It could be demon powers. It could be angel powers. It could be magical spellbook powers. Like, yeah, he has powers, but it's like. That is not like a compel. That's not really the compelling part about him is the fact he's a vampire. It's that he's related to the dead. He's more powerful than the two other main characters in a lot of ways and how he deals with that, you know, like and he acts fairly human because he was raised by human. Well, he's raised by a human mom who, you know, was presumably a good mom as far as we're aware. So it's like, you know, uh, I think my rant's mostly over. But yeah, I don't know. I just. Like, I understand you see fucking, you know, cool turtle man and you're like, oh, sick turtle man. That's pretty cool. And like, again, I'm not the kind of person who's like, you have to only play this and I'm not going to let anyone play anything else. Like, I'm, I, I'm, I don't stick to my guns that hard, but it does dishearten me a little bit when I see the wacky woohoo circus party. I, I'm, I can't lie. It does. I think it depends. It like, does. Well, kind of like me and Isaiah loved the last episode. I guess it depends on like the theme of your campaign, the idea of like what kind of campaign. Because if you have like, look at like Matt Colville, the, his whole chain of Akron, he's like most of the, the tone population you're looking is, for here is is the tone, not the, necessarily the theme. I guess theme tone, you know, same same difference. Like depending yeah. on like like let's say like you know it's like oh there are mostly humans in this world. There are certain like the rare races like because remember in in his world, dwarves are mostly seen as the Duragar, the slavers. So when a dwarf walks around the surface, everyone's like, oh, God, this guy's an asshole. But, you know, that's just, you know, it's an in-world thing. So I guess it depends on, yeah, like tone, setting, theme, whatever. But if you're just doing like, and again, we've mentioned in previous episodes, if you're just doing your first ever like generic, you know, basic fa fantasy thing, most players are going to be like, I want to be whatever kind of the craziest race. I want to do whatever. I want to be the giant bug man. I want to be the dragon man. I want to be the turtle man. And they're just going to go with it. And you, and you as a DM could be like, all right, is are they like, you know, the weirdos in or is everybody a weirdo? But these guys are the real fucking weirdos. Like, my God, like it's, you know, it's a campaign by campaign basis, I think. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I think I mean, so I, I, it is I, it, it, an interesting point. I feel to bring up Josh to this point is similar. It, it goes along with your the point you made a few weeks ago about uh, having one dumb stat does not make your character interesting. I, I don't Correct, think your yes. race necessarily is what makes your character interesting or unique. It's the shit that your race, your, your class can do. So and you do with or what you do with that race. So like, you I, know. to this end, I think having a wacky wild woohoo party of races does not mean like you know I, I don't think it makes them any less interesting just because they're wacky wild woohoo races I think you know it's, no no it's, what I'm saying is what makes what makes them less interesting is when everyone is a wacky race it's the whole when everyone's rich no one's rich situation well I, you know that's my point I understand but what, like, what I'm trying to argue is less... if you play into your weird quirks you like you know, if you play as like a Kenku who only does the mimicking thing or uh, like a satyr who's really fey like and is really emotional and, and like quick to, to do just random bullshit that they feel interesting in the moment. Or you have like a tiefling who's kind of edgy and like really resolute in a cause. They like each wacky woohoo character finds their own niche and that's what makes them interesting. So the party as a whole becomes more interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. 
yeah. I guess, but then it's not about your race, it's about how you're playing it at the end of the anyway, so you could just do the same thing but a human, you know? Like, if you're playing into traits with your character specifically, it doesn't really matter what race you are, so it's like, you know, it, I've played in a lot of, I've played in plenty of games where there where you could only play humans, and I have not, I, I do not I wasn't at any point sitting there like, man, I wish I could be a lizard person, you know? Like, I just think it, it's just gotten maybe it's just a little much, especially when the original tone of the game was not that right. The original tone was much more Tolkien. And again, I'm not saying it has to be quite that pared down because Tolkien is literally, you know, the four baseline races, right? It's human elf fucking hobbit dwarf. But, you know, just a little like more. I don't know, because the problem, the other problem, too, is you get in this weird setting thing where it's like, oh, uh, you know, these races are real like tieflings, dragonborns and turtles are really rare. And then I have one of each in my party, so they don't look very rare now because each of the players is playing them. And you say to the players, you are a bunch of rare races, but they're playing it. So in their mind, you know, like there's like a weird disconnect there. And it's like you can reinforce it, but it's still harder to reinforce that point. Whereas me saying Dragonborn are rare in my setting, they have truly shown to be rare because you've only ever seen one of them. And no one like there's no other ones walking around and nobody talks about it. So It's like that becomes a weird situation. You know, there's ways to deal with it, but it's still f- like I'm, s- I don't know, I'm still not crazy about it. And then also another thing is the fucking books kind of agree with me on this because <laughs> I feel like a lot of people tend to ignore this. But when races get added to the game, they're usually from a specific setting, right? When the Eberron book came out, they're like, here's Warforge. The point is not that Warforged are going to be in every D&D setting. The point is that they're in the Eberron book for the Eberron setting, and they make sense in the Eberron setting. But your Warforged was not intended to ever brush shoulders with a Haragon. But people play with the books in such a fashion that every race can be p- picked up and dropped into any game. It doesn't matter. And that creates kind of a weird vibe, because if you look at each race in each individual book on their own, the vibe is much more toned down than it ends up being, right? If you just look at the player's handbook races, there's two weirdo races. If you only look at Eberron, there's one weirdo race, you know? If you just look at... I mean, some... And and again, obviously, some are a little more... uh, Some are more toned up high magic, right? Like, Ravnica has... A bunch, just oh, basically only weird races, because Ravnica is like kind of over the top. Yeah, uh, well, I think that's what they're going for now, because you know, with every new race, it's just we're going to go more over the top, more weird, more. Well, in some regards, yeah. And again, for the specific setting, it's fine if you make an over the top set of races for that specific setting. But when you start smashing these settings together, you go from over the top to fucking bananas, bonker town. Right, right. Because that's will, where it gets weird. Yeah, because especially like if you use something like D and D Beyond, where you could just yeah. buy the races individually without having yeah. to buy the whole book, and then you just yeah. bring it to your game. Like, you know. when they make like the GIF are not intended to ever meet Warforged. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not supposed to have a GIF and a Warforged in the same party. Like, you can, but like lore, you know, lore and setting wise, that's not supposed to be a thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because then it's like, all right, so it's up to you and it's like the DM and the player to like, all right, why is your Warforge in Spelljammer? How the fuck yeah. did this happen? <laughs> becomes a whole thing. <laughs> why it becomes your, a whole thing. Why is your hippo and, you know, man walking around the Forgotten Realms? <laughs> like, yeah. And also, I'd like to point out, I think there's a lot to be said for a good way you can solve. Uh, all right. I guess I shouldn't say solve because then I, I sound like. All right, I guess I'm too on a soapbox if I say the word solved. A way you can have an answer to this particular scenario and like, you know, if you want to tone things down, something that I feel like I never see anyone mention but totally could be doable is like, take a race, retone them fictionally, and just let them have the same mechanics. Now, with some, it'll be harder than others, right? But like, for example, 
you could just be like, if your player's like, I want to play a changeling, and you as a GM are like, well, there's no changelings in my setting, and I don't really want to deal with the weird fey changeling implications. So instead, you can play a human who had, a, who was like born with weird shape shifting powers. Like you're a human fictionally, but you're a changeling mechanically, and you have all the other changeling stuff, and you have weird shape shifting abilities because like a fairy blessed you as a child or some shit. Or maybe you don't know why you have these weird fey shape shifting powers. Yeah, but like off they're just powers. To find out. Yeah, but like they're just powers. It's not that you're literally a different like new a whole new species. It's like slapping weird wacky woohoo powers into a setting that already has magic is much easier than being like, oh, also there's this whole new species I didn't mention. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, like the player, a player dies and then a new book just happens to come out. And it's like, hey, DM, can I play this brand new race? And it's like, right, right. right. And you're like, eh. you're playing a Tolkien world and all of a sudden giant bug man shows up. And it's like, hello, yeah, fellow exactly. adventurers. I'm not <laughs> going to eat you. <laughs> it's the Fellowship of the Ring. And then a fry cream just rocks up to Aragorn. He's like, hey, can I have a sword? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, Whoa. Can I have, like, can I have two swords, Whoa. a shield and uh, a bigger sword. Yeah. You know, or like, oh, I want to play the GIF. It's like, all right, what if you were just like, uh, you know, a pe- uh, people who lived far away that were like really imperial. So you got good with guns and also you're fucking swole, you know, like you just wear a <laughs> thick a boy. Of- you're just a thick boy. Not a, not yeah, a, you're not just a, a hippo man, lad. but a thick boy. The thick just a thick man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a thick man as opposed to a hippo. Yeah, man. I mean, like, can I at least yeah. wear a hippo helmet? And it's like, hmm. yeah, I think it's doable. Fine. Like, I, I think that that is a, a workable method. Um. It's harder with certain races like Centaur. It's like, yeah, uh, I mean, like, there's only so far you could go, right? Because, like, Kobold's like, what? You're just a tiny human who's a coward? Like, how is that any well, no, different kobold, than, like, a gnome? A Kobold or a Dragonborn could very easily be like, oh, you're a Draconic Sorcerer. Your Draconic Blessing also, like, d- d- gave you some physical changes. So you have, like, Kobold stuff or Dragonborn stuff. You know, stuff along those lines. Maybe, I, it depends, I don't know. right? I, I it's just, very. It depends. It, you would have to do it on a game by game basis. Like it, it doesn't work. You can't just like slap it, carte blanche. I'm just saying it's a way to sort of if you're the kind of GM who's like, I really don't want to have a satyr, a turtle, a shifter, and a warforged in my party. Like that's a way you could kind of be like, well, what if you did it this way? Instead, you know, like instead of a instead of a satyr, it's like you're a weird like magically fey blessed human or something. I'm just throwing out. I'm just throwing out a, again. Yeah, and no, again, it could, it could work depending it on could. the, no, the campaign, the setting, and stuff. <sighs> again, I'm not like a setting Nazi about this. I'm willing to give. I originally said no changelings for my game, and that didn't stick. So you know, did you? It'd be like that. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah. The only person I, the only person I had an argument with was Sam because he wanted to be a changeling, and I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to do changelings. And then he was like, all right, what about a satyr? I'm like, well, there's definitely satyrs because you were a Warforged. And I was like, well, that makes perfect sense. You slide like Warforged slip right into my setting. So I had no issue with that. And then Ant wanted to be a turtle. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Like there's ancient mythical animal races in actual Greek mythology. So that works perfectly. Satyrs are literally from Greek mythology. So that's fine. And then the Genasi, I was like, the Genasi are just elementally attuned humans. So that one's like fine you know i have no issue fitting genasi into places um but yeah the changing i was like i don't know if i want to deal with the changing but then i kind of had an idea and i was like uh okay i can make it work you know i sort of adjusted what uh, uh, i uh, uh a moment a stroke of genius hit me in the moment and i sort of slid the changeling situation in mm. i think i was reading up on the changeling lore to see if what i could do with it and then i had an idea so well, that's good. Not that you guys yeah. have come across any of that information yet, but you know it's out there. No. <laughs> um, yeah, eh, eh, rant's over. But yeah, I do hate. I do hate the circus race party. It does bug me. I won't lie. Mm. I mean, this. And side note, this applies to everything for me. Like, it's not just Star Wars or other. Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Star Wars. I said only one Jedi player. You know, Blades in the Dark. I was like, no, you can't play a vampire from the jump. Um, so fucking, what if in um, Star Wars someone was like, I want to be it? Like, what are humans called in Star Wars? Actually, I have no idea. Are humans. they? Humans. They are called humans. Okay. Yeah, they're just humans. Okay, so you have a human, Chewbacca, uh, a robot, um, whatever. Well, Star whatever Wars. Darth Maul people are called. I'm sorry. Zabrax. Zabrax. Yeah. Um, the the weird slug people. Like you would hate that. 
Um, no, it doesn't bother me in Star Wars because Star Wars was like that from the jump. Like literally in the first Star Wars movie when they walk into the Mos oh, Eisley cantina, can- okay. cantina, you're right. It you're is right. covered in fucking wacky woohoo weirdos. So it doesn't really bother me so much in Star Wars. And and also, uh, Star Wars establishes like as a setting. Star Wars establishes. You know, there's aliens from all over the place and people travel between planets very freely because of the level of like technology and, and like the the more Star Wars is weird because some aspects of it, some aspects of Star Wars are like fascist dictatorship and then other aspects of Star Wars are kind of utopian in a weird way. So the kind of utopian parts allow for a bazillion different aliens to all hang out together and like it's fine. Like that's it's always been that way. So that one doesn't bug me. It bugs me in stuff like D&D because, you know, you read the player's handbook and it's like tieflings and dragonborns are incredibly fucking rare. You'll maybe see one in your lifetime. And then every single party has a dragonborn. You're like, all right, well, maybe not. <laughs> you know, that's why that's the part that I have issue with. Or like when I was playing Stars Without Number, um, the game was like psychics are really rare after the scream happened, which is this sort of in-universe event that killed most of the psychics. So there's not a lot of psychics around. So I was like, all right, one psychic in the party, you know, because like that, you know, it's like they're rare. You're not supposed to you having a party of four psychics would be like nigh impossible, essentially. So I, I'm I've always got that. I've I've always been like that, you know, or like even even Apocalypse World. There's a couple of uh, playbooks in Apocalypse World that are fucking bonkers weird like way over the top weird like on purpose like one in second edition apocalypse world there's a playbook i shit you not that is an intergalactic space dolphin in a mech suit that wants to destroy all humanity that is a playbook that's amazing i love that and the when i was playing apocalypse world i was like no one is allowed to play this i'm not putting up with this it's dumb don't you dare one of the playbooks is also you just play a little rodent who like collects things love that that's also pretty great so yeah so i, I i've all this is not like a new opinion and this is not a D specific opinion I, I just all right i'm done right i well just my last thing is i think it, i think it's becoming increasingly difficult to do that in 5e it absolutely because is, there yes. are yeah, so many so races much. so if you're There's like well right? only one exotic race and you're like and you know you god can, can you imagine in you, like, most people would be like are you fucking you want me like Yes, it's very hard now because of where it's gone. Can can you imagine the next edition where it's just like, all right, guys, no more races, no more lineage. It's just custom origin. That's it. You make your own shit. And it's just like, no, oh, please. I would actually have a fucking <laughs> aneurysm. Oh, my God. That sounds like, terrible. We made it so much simpler, guys. Isn't this better? Literally no one. <laughs> I would fucking despise that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I Matt, I don't even. Yeah. Why did you even put? Why did you even put that energy out I don't in the know. world? Because I'm just thinking. We've been talking but like you know. I'm just thinking about like five E, the future. You know, the the end is nigh for five E so far. Listen. The next edition's coming out. I mean the I mean the end is not nigh because the next edition is not going to be another edition. It's going to be an adjustment of the existing edition. I've said this a million times. Stop calling it six edition. It's not six edition. Anyway, moving on. No, Matt, I don't keep think it's six edition. It's not sixth edition. It's not what it is. It's not five point five five e. It's not five point five either. Five e enhanced. Everyone thinks it's going to be a new edition, and everyone's going to be mad when it's not a new edition. But everyone just keeps assuming Wizards never called it a new edition. We're just every, say that if they don't, if they don't make it a number, everyone's just going to either call it sixth edition, or they're just going to be like, "Yeah, it's the D D edition of D D." And it's just like, wait a minute. No, they're just, <laughs> just people will just call just it like with, you know, people will just call it like revision 5e or whatever. But uh, that's neither here nor there. 5e is not going anywhere. We're not getting a new edition. That's not what's happening. Anyway, point point is, yes, you are correct, Isaiah. It has gotten a little out of hand with how many races there are. Um, so I think probably now what you have to do is is you basically have to make a magic rarity chart but for the races be like common uncommon rare very rare legendary races you know so like you know in my setting for example simic hybrid and vidalkins would be like legendary level artifact level race right like there's there's they they're not a thing 
It's like, you are literally the only one. And it's like, oh, yeah, awesome. Exactly. Exactly. You're the only one. Well, because, yeah. you know, it's also setting based, right? Because like I was just saying before, obviously in my setting, Minotaurs, Centaurs, Satyrs, like Leonins all make perfect sense because those are things in actual Greek mythology. Yeah. Did I actually but in sh- other settings, you know, yeah. never not. Did, I, did I ever tell you guys about the like in my the three year campaign, my one of my players, the, the monk rogue guy, he played the, the Kenrin from Amonkhet, yeah. the jackal people. Yeah. So I I didn't introduce a, another Kenrin at all into the campaign towards until like midway towards the end in the drow city that they uh-huh. found one that was being auctioned off as a slave. And because this is his first time ever seeing another Kenrin, he's like, Matt, we have to save her. Matt, please DM. I need to save her. <laughs> it was great. That's my lady. It, it, it was great. And then she ended up being an NPC and a worker for them. And yeah, it, it all worked out. And well, and later on, they 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 uh, they went back to Almanket to see how the homeland's doing. But Matt, did they fuck? No, actually, no. He was dating uh, Tabaxi Rogue at the time. Mm. Oh, disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> disappointing. Uh, anyway, who else has some things they would like to rant about? Because I just went off for almost thirty minutes. Yep. So, uh, Matt, do you want to grab it or? Uh, hey, I mean, who's feeling it? Who's feeling it deep in their loins? I mean, I, mean, I don't know because I don't really have. Again, like I feel bad because I don't really have anything I like hate, despise. Like, but I have well, some like uh, all right, peeves. I'll, I'll, I'll give one because this one, yeah. this one, this one be affected me on some real shit. Come at me. Uh, this this has nothing to do with you. I uh, nothing really grinds my gears more than like when a player can't remember any of their kit, just like <gasps> any of it. <gasps> uh, you just call out your entire player. Nice job. Yeah, like nice it, job. it is. It is very frustrating because, like, you know, Isaiah, you just awakened something. Yeah, because well, it's like when I balance combat. Um, I balance it with the understanding that my players like know their kit. <laughs> I gave my paladin a holy avenger. I expect him to remember that he has a holy yeah, avenger. Yeah, exactly. So I like I uh, I ran into a situation last week where I did like a pretty simple I feel like encounter. Like it wasn't that complicated. Players got pulled into the water by like <laughs> these shark frog things and i gave them the stats of like swalgans no no they uh, i gave them the stats of, of red slot but i took away their um their you know like tadpole thing right but i yeah. gave them a stun <laughs> right because i was like oh well these things they bring you into the water and they poke you with their claws and then you stun and they bring you down drown you and eat you right like uh-huh. made yeah, perfect uh-huh. sense to me uh, and players got pulled into the water and like uh, oh, one of my players like forgot that they have like they, they are the highest damage dealer in the game uh, and they didn't pop any of their buffs. So the fight ended up taking forever because I was like, oh, well, you know, you can't shoot into the water effectively. Like your bullets have no yep, range yep, underwater yep. Uh, and you're uh-huh, at disadvantage. Uh-huh. Or, or I gave them three quarters cover when they're in the water as like a special like character thing. I know it's disadvantage, but I, like, I you know, I just didn't want permanent disadvantage all fight because then it would take even longer. So, uh, you know, these three enemies that have 93 HP roughly each and, and they did have 20 AC, sorry, they had 19 AC, which, you know, that's, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's pretty high, but I, I figured my players do roughly 50 damage around. This will be over in like three rounds, right? Like assuming they miss a few times cause three quarters cover, uh, mm-hmm. and that combat took three hours and I was, Fucking was hell, a little annoyed. Dude. um, and like, I was my annoyed. God. I was kind of out of it last week. Like I just, I couldn't pull my shit together f- for the life of me. Like, I, I just I for, was forgetting like what was going on in the game. I just, I just, I don't know. My mind was not there. I don't know what the fuck happened, but that one was like, please God, please just hurry up. I didn't even, it didn't help that I fucking, oh my God. So I was on roll 20, you know, I play I play on roll 20. Uh, and I was building the map and I was putting shit on the GM layer because I wanted to have like a, you know, like I wanted it to be ooh, spooky shark in the water. Dun, 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 dun. And then I accidentally put the map on the GM layer and uh, <clears throat> anything on the GM layer is not shown uh, when you look at the map overviews, which is a uh, problem. So I spent about 10 minutes being like, where's the map? Where's the map? Where's the map? 
Where the fuck is it? I set this up. I set this up like hours ago. I know it's here. It can't be here. There's no way the game overwrote my fucking map. So all of the tension that I had built died. And, you know, I, I could tell the players were like not really that into it because like all their hype had died down. I was just like, fuck me. But yeah, the, the not remembering kit is a uh, a big sad. Yeah, that's a big one. Just yeah. not remembering kit that like it, that it drives me up a fucking wall and I, this yeah. is partially this is partially kind of unfair because you know i've i've done games and this is not a brag so like please internet do not take this as a brag but i've like i've done i've been in games where like three people are absent and the gm is like all right who's gonna like jaeger this character and i'm like i'll do it it's like for all three i'm like yep i got it don't worry i know i, I know these classes this is gonna be simple as fuck so yeah like i, I, mean... I know that i shouldn't expect that of people and i don't but like, <clears throat> no, 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 no. Let me stop you right there, Chief. You, sure, maybe you shouldn't expect people to be able to play three classes at once. However, you should absolutely expect fucking, you know, uh, you should expect a single player to be able to remember their single character's abilities and use them reliably, especially when you've been playing for almost two years. Uh, two and a I half. Mean, like, to be fair, sometimes yeah, you just no, at least I'm this sorry, is me. Like, like sometimes you just have brain fart. Like last time I played Storm King Thunder, I forgot. Like as a 14th level wizard, I forgot about arcane uh, recovery. I just completely forgot about it. It existed for some reason. And I'm like looking yeah. on my sheet. I'm like, I know there's a thing. If I do a short rest, I get something back. I don't know what that something is. Scratch his head, point wearing you know pointy wizard hat. Like what could it yes. be? Yes, Matt, I, I get that. The, th the problem is the consistency of the forgetting. Yeah, you know? if it was yeah. a constant thing, if I was constantly forgetting things, then yeah. But if it's just like a one time slip up, because I think because uh, in the three year game, it would happen with a couple of players like, you know, oh, what does this monk ability do? Or wait, what can I do or can't do as a bonus action? And it'd be like every couple sessions we'd have to like re go over like, yo, bro, you know, this is what you do. Learn your shit. But, you, you know, know yeah. I I just fucking realized that your game went on for like, three years. My game is going on three years. My players are level 10. I got to pick up the fucking pace, bro. Bruh. I got to pick this shit up. I don't know how. Yeah, that's like I thought I was taking a long level time skips, for three Isaiah, years. Level skips. Yeah, definitely do the level skips. It's yeah. I kind of wish I did that, honestly. <laughs> yes, sir. But um, um, yeah, like a little forgetting. I understand, right? Like I distinctly remember when we were playing, and I used Tasha's mind whip on you know, the the boss, and then forgot that that takes away their reactions. And I just stood there getting punched in the face because I didn't want to take the attack of opportunity. No, leave. that's right. You know? <laughs> yeah. So like, was that the the monk fight or yes, oh, the monk fight? Yeah. Yes, it is indeed the monk fight because. <laughs> um, yeah, I used Tasha's Mind Whip and he failed, so he didn't have a reaction, so he couldn't have attacked me, so I could have disengaged. And uh, I, I, I done foregored. So, like, a little foregore is fine, but uh, yeah, what Matt, what, what, uh, wow, train of thought. Boo! Out the window. Let's try Isaiah? That. Slow down. <laughs> is Slow down. Jesus. Thoughts. <laughs> What the fuck was I just saying? What the fuck were you just saying? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Did we all just collectively Full, fucking like, brain I'm fart? I'm just gonna point? snort the XP smoothie yeah. straight into my brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah just injected. <laughs> They're I putting something in my veins. Go on, my veins. <laughs> I just took a fat bong rip of XP smoothie. Holy shit. Um, I with Isaiah's game, it's it's the consistency that's a problem, and you know, again. I get it. Like, you know, sometimes you just don't give a shit or you forget. Sure. But like, yeah, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I, I don't expect you to remember how everyone else's abilities works or what everyone else has or how I don't even expect you to remember how the fucking game works. Like if you don't remember how a monster works or some shit, like I don't give a but, but come on, you need to know how your character does shit, how they work. And I'm sorry if you get murdered and you forgot that you had an ability that would have doubled your damage so you could have killed the monster before it killed your ass and we're two years deep. I'm sorry, I don't feel that bad. You're fucking dead. Roll up a new character. Like, I... Yeah, like... I, I, <laughs> there's there's a limit. There's a limit to my sympathies. Yeah, you know? yeah, I mean, like... I, Paladin, I'm calling you out a little bit. Uh, 
I, I do got to remind you most most combats that you have two attacks. You have an extra attack. Uh, that is a little that's a pretty. That's a pretty bad one. It's a do little they wild. fill their sheets out on roll twenty at all, or no? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm constantly peeking Good. at their sheets to remember their passives. I have this mm. is this is a this is a self roast. I literally have an editable document that lets me know what like their passives, HP, AC, modifiers, stat roll. No, that's good. I, but that's a DM screen, basically. Yeah, that's yeah. You, yeah I've just never like filled it out. DM screen. I've yeah. just been too fucking lazy to do it, so I'm constantly opening their sheets. Like, what the fuck is what is LP's passive? <laughs> like, yeah. no, wait, I do the same Brett's, thing. Like passive yeah, that, investigation check, and I'm like, oh, that's but right. Like, yeah, that players like players skills, should know that, like though. languages. Like, yeah, I do that. Every, I think a lot of DMs do that. Look, look, you know, when I ask you what your fucking AC is, you should know that the answer is 24. Like, it's not. Uh, they, you know? Yeah, they're they're good with with that kind of stuff where it's like, oh, like what's your passive? And they're they're pretty much always like, oh, it's this. And I'm like, okay, cool. But there's just it's just combat kit that seems to like. That's not a joke, by the way. Isaiah's character has a 24 AC in my game right now. Uh, yes, unhasted, it is in fact 24. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 26 yeah. with haste. Did, uh, yeah. did I tell you about the wall in Icewind Dale? Oh. Sammy, oh. Uh, she played a Herringon Paladin. And I think by the end of the campaign, dependent because she like she multi-class into like wizard, paladin, fight, like all these different things. And then we gave her a staff of power. And I think by the end of it, she could have like an AC of 30 or some nonsense. I love that. It was I, we literally called her the bunny wall. It was fucking hilarious. I, no, it, oh my God. Over I, the garden wall. I've done the math. <laughs> yeah. I've done the math as to how high my AC can get without magic items. And it's a. Uh, it's a little dumb. It it uh, it's a little goofy. <laughs> uh, Artificer, Ar- Artificer, Armorer, Warforged. Uh, very good combo. Yeah, uh, it's a little goofy. Um, very good combo. Can you imagine how dumb it got if I pop my max buffs and then threw a uh, force wall up for that three quarters cover? Oh my god! <laughs> Just casual way, additional plus five to AC. Side note, my man's still over here complaining that he doesn't do enough damage, even though he's an no, unkillable no, monster. Sir, I've never complained about not doing enough damage. My complaint is yeah, always, do I buff my AC or do I give my myself more damage? <laughs> uh, That's always been my my qualm. And I, I, I said, more. I said this game, I wasn't going to play DPS. I was going to go tank. And if my tank did a lot of damage, that would be cool. And I, I think I'm, I, I should be rewarded for sticking to the bit this long. The fucking steel wall of death. Look, that's that's all I ever wanted for Django. I wanted him to be. I let this jackass upgrade his homunculus too. He did. He did. Uh, although I should have should have said no. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Atomisk's upgrades have uh, very rarely actually come into play because he only used his sword arm once. Twice, I think. A couple of times. Uh, it's mostly been his fucking ultra beam, his his death ray, <laughs> more kills than one of the bards in the party, yeah. and he's yeah. just that a fucking homunculus. Has has a really high body count. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I, one of my favorite moments in that campaign is 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 my warforged trying to teach his pet cat how to be a more efficient killer because the thought of the gazer having a higher body count than his cat was like unacceptable <laughs> <laughs> like, so they, like I, one of the uh, fucking brett's character walks into the kitchen and he's got the cat and he's trying to train it to like murder mice and he's like yes you must hunt your prey <laughs> oh wait i forgot to ask now that um Sam's character is a paladin, what happened to Melon? Does he still have Melon? Or yeah, yeah, he still yeah he still yeah, has Melon's that fucking gazer. Oh, okay. That gazer Melon's is gonna not be really a familiar. He's just a he's a house pet. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. He like he's gonna be the host. He's gonna be the host for our restaurant. It's gonna be great. Oh yeah, they started the restaurant. We did. We did start the restaurant. Yeah. Things- <laughs> Let go. me just say, <laughs> things that happened in the last like two sessions. Restaurant has started. Citizenship test for their three goons is happening uh, z- w- uh renovations to the house uh <laughs> what other bo- bought a bunch of magic item bullshit because i was feeling too nice uh what, what was the, some what other homework I, look i i think we made very good use of our magic items i don't think we did anything wrong matt they gave me so much homework 
They gave me, I just, it was insane. And then fucking Zafir was like, oh, I want to do some research on this thing to find out about this thing. So I had to write him up a whole fucking document of information. Why didn't you just bullet that, point like the, the certain information that they I, learned instead of like writing up the entire book? I, sir, I, because it was a letter <laughs> from another, from a like scholar. So I wrote it out as if he actually wrote okay. it. And fucking, uh, I just uh, so many things. I, uh, I, I got. Oh, oh, they're looking for a manager. <laughs> yeah, we are looking for a manager. Uh, so I had to come up with the manager options. I just, I, it's been a lot. I, I accidentally got oh, Josh great, to rage though. quit the session for about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen. Yes, but that's good though. They, like you get, they now they can do the fun like interview where they interview a bunch of wacky NPCs. Which one's going to be the manager? Who knows. I, I do look, love this I'm, idea. I love this so on, much. It's so fun. I did oh, no, it. Everyone oh, no, does I, it. Critical I, Role did it. It's the funniest thing. No, no, I'm thing. way ahead of you. I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> yeah. It's already going to happen. Dude. Yes. I was already planning it. Yes. And I know, <laughs> I know exactly which manager you're going to pick, and I hate it. Because oh. as soon as I wrote it out, I was like, it's going to be this one. Yes, I love this. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um... What? What were we talking about? People Players not forgetting their kids. stuff. <laughs> oh, Isaiah's yeah, 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 yeah. Players not remembering. Yeah, yeah. Now, it, I mean, it could be. That's a, a fucking peeve. It's a fucking yeah, peeve. It could I don't know. Be, I'm sorry. Like it could be because I, I don't because I've heard this from my players with the my last game where after three years players tend to forget shit and it's understandable. But like if it's like a certain ability or something that they're supposed to do constantly or. That be like that's like all right. Come on, you should. We've been doing this for so long. Yeah, you should it, know it, this. But if it's like, if you're, okay, no, I forgot okay. about this one racial ability I've had that I never really used. But now it's certain. Oh, if you, you know, don't use it, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, but it could be uh, like be it's been too a long time. Not too long. Oh, yeah, too long. <laughs> it's been a long time. Three years is a long time for a game. Uh, maybe some of the players <sighs> aren't are just literally not paying attention. Uh, you know, they're distracted somehow on their phone, watching YouTube videos in the background. Who knows? Maybe some of the players aren't engaged because, yeah, it's like it's oh the group is doing something. But maybe it's like, well, it's not hyper focused on me at the moment. So I'll just be a background character. Meanwhile, every single other player is like the same mindset at the moment. So no one's like taking that first initiative. I'm not sure. I'm not there. So I, this well, is just that's, me. That's, you know, that's different. Yeah. Right. Like forgetting story stuff or like being like, what the fuck were we doing? Or like, what exactly is going on? That all that all that shit. Sure. Fine. Acceptable within reason. Forgetting that you have extra attack, however, mm, that's a little I mean, that's a little it's a little rough. It's a very it's a very usable ability. But again, if it's (laughs) been like because, again, this is the stuff I've heard from my players and stuff like that has happened to my players where they would forget something like an extra attack or patient defense or you know what like a, a very like common if, ability that you get early as fuck on in the game yeah, and you're probably if it's a common ability, like if it's a common ability i i just i can't i'm sorry like if it's if it's fucking you know if it's if you're playing a bard and you don't remember you have counter charm i don't blame you because like when the fuck are you ever going to use counter charm so that one's fair but like yeah i mean extra attack patient defense flurry of blows spell casting I, you know bardic inspiration you're a wizard and you like, just forget <laughs> yeah casting. like that's what it's like <laughs> ah, shit my forget. whole class what do I do <laughs> you forget about anything other than fucking like cantrips you know it, it just uh, I, yeah I get it uh, that's a fair thing to be mad about Isaiah it's a fair it is a oh, fair yeah. okay. frustration mm-hmm. god now I just want to play a forgetful wizard also, I'm not your mom. I don't want to have to remind you to clean your goddamn room every session. Like, you know, just, you know, you know. Now, do you guys fall under the the mindset of like, do you have to know exactly how your players like what their abilities are and what their things do? Or do you just kind of like, I have no constraint on the wheels. It's like players like, hey, Matt, what does patient defense do? Me. I don't know. That's your fucking ability, dude. Yeah, what no, hundred percent. What, what does it say, bro? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. I mean, I, I'm pretty much. I just You're say. Fucking... I just say it every time. Like, uh, if I know, if I've gotten to the point where I used to be really, really annoyed by it, but now I'm just like, eh, whatever. 
If I remember it off the top of my head, like if it's something I've run into a lot, like how does Bardic Inspiration work? I will tell you how Bardic Inspiration works because I remember that one because it's come up a lot. I played a Bard for a while. I, you know, it's, I, yeah, I, I've yeah. read that ability. Mm -hmm. I, I like Bard. I know how that one works. Yeah, certain but if abilities, it's like, yeah. If it's like, you know, what are the specific, like Arcane Recovery. I don't remember how Arcane Recovery works. I know it lets you get spell slots back in a short rest, but I don't remember what the like number stipulation is. Matt, or what like, does Favored Foe mean? Uh, well, favored Foe? I don't remember uh, how Favored Foe, yeah, like I, I, I kind of remember Favored Foe, but not really. Like I'm, uh, like, I'm slowly like learning some, like cause my players are only level two. So I'm like trying to learn like what they're doing and you know, making sure it's like, I get it, yeah, but I mean, I'm not gonna go super in depth. Yeah, I'm no, not gonna I'm lie. sorry, like, yeah, it, I'm so, you know, especially for abilities where it's like, you know, I don't know, like or like spells, like how does this spell work, bro? I got no fucking clue. You better read that goddamn spell right well, it's now, like, motherfucker. All right, it's like we read the spell together. If we're both confused, Google it. If we're still confused, yeah. Jeremy Crawford's Twitter. So, yeah, well, and so, if so we're still that one, confused, that you don't get to use that yeah, spell. That yeah, one, that spell. One, to me, that one's a little different, right? Because like <laughs> spell bad. spells can be really <laughs> finicky. So yeah, like, if it's yeah, like, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, GM, I know what the spell does, but like, I, I'm kind of confused that it like on if it will work in this situation, then it's always like, all right, hold on. Let's yeah, figure this shit out together. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's what I'm saying. Like really, really specific things are like stuff that doesn't come up a lot or like your personal abilities. Yeah. You know, or like stipulations on abilities, like the stipulation on axe and surge, like. I might not remember that like, oh, yeah, you can also use your bonus action if you haven't used it before when you use action search. You know, I might not remember that. It's like kind of a weird stipulation that comes sometimes comes up and sometimes doesn't. But yeah, generally, no. If a player is like, how does my ability work? I'm going to look at them dead in the eyes and go, I don't know, player. How does your ability work? Because I'm busy reading monster stat blocks and making dungeons and giving you fucking magical items and gold because you keep bitching at me that you're poor. Mm. Sorry, what? Mm. Oh, sounds like someone's projecting. Mm. What? I don't. What are you talking about? Mm. All mm. right, Matt, chew up. Yeah. Yeah, Matt. Multiclassing isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, let's you see. can say multiclassing. It's okay. No, I, I. We we have already talked about multiclassing on too many episodes. Uh, no I guess I guess actually one thing I never really bring up, and it's <clears> been it was an on and off thing, mostly in in Icewind Dale. And now that I think about it, it's like. And I've done this a couple of times and as adults, so like you gotta realize, you know, keep your emotions in check. But it is, and uh, there's someone attacking my house, I think. Oh, huh. oh, it's me. Yeah. Nah, just keep hearing slamming. And I'm like, oh, all right. It's me, I'm bombing your house. Sick. Uh, but basically just- With anvils. Yeah, one thing that does grind my grind my gears, gets me angry, uh, is actually anger, is when people like, Something bad happens in the game and a person just kind of snaps. They oh, lash being out. being a salty bitch. Being oh, yeah, salty, that one's rough. It's happened. Um, you know, something's like, oh, this is not fair. Oh, that, that thing is bullshit. And it's happened both to me as a DM. Uh, it's happened as a group when we're players. Uh, I've... <sighs> I've done it, but not that bad. Like, I don't want I don't want to make it seem like I'm like, oh, holy and thou. But like, I've gotten angry at something. And then as soon as I said something, like I would uh, actually I'll give you an example. Storm King Thunder, we had um, we were dealing with a bad guy who would not give us any information. And recently the DM gave us a, a flying carpet. And this was like my wizards like, yes, I want to be that picture from I don't remember if it's the dungeon master guide, but it's the wizard, the wizard on the carpet, yeah, the wizard on the carpet rushing at a dragon. And I'm like, oh, I dragon, cannot yeah. fucking wait. I this is going to be my chance. I fucking love it. And unfortunately, in dealing with this bad guy NPC that we had to discuss to get information, we had to trade her our magic carpet because that's the only thing she really wants. She just wanted magic shit. And so for me as a player, I was like, ooh, if I see her, oh, like in game, I was like, really like going, hey, I'm like, oh my God, if I if I ever see this NPC, disintegration on site, how dare she steal from us? And then like- That's kind of shitty as a GM though. Well, yes and yeah, I think it was one of those like things Like you just got it? It was, we didn't have it for very, very long. I will, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind yeah. of a move. Right. So that's why I think it hurt more and why I was yeah, I was yeah. angry because I'm like, no, fuck, we just got it. I literally only got to use this thing twice 
fuck. <laughs> but yeah, after I fucked. said all, like, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna kill this this NPC. This is horseshit. And then after I said that, the instant like regret of like, ah, I, fuck, I gotta stop being a baby. It's you know, it's a game. It happens. And then I kind of apologized afterwards. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. I fucking, you know, I got mad guys. My bad. I was just kind of lashing out over, you know, no, I mean, I, like, I think it's valid to to get mad in character, right? If your character would be fucking furious, then like, oh, let yeah, them go yeah. off. as long as yeah, um, as the character. But as long as you as the player don't like make the table uncomfortable, don't, you know, scream and holler and like, you know, blame the DM or blame another player. And you'd be like, this is your fault. What the fuck are you doing? You know? starting arguments and shit yeah I, mostly yeah. what i guess i'm i'm what really gets me upset or angry at games is when there's an outburst of drama or whatever and people don't check their emotions like in in iceland Dale, and this is going to be like a kind of like wizards call out there was a lot of stuff that we got like towards like by the end of the campaign i feel like a lot of us like in our gaming group got bitter because of how how like some of the encounters were just crazy over like leveled for us or how certain things in the game were really like going against the players and by the end of it we were all just like jesus christ like can we just what the fuck can we just can we just leave can we just go I, i'm tired of the snow <laughs> i think yeah, no i i have definitely been like that at points um this is this is where we you know we bring up the uh uh player getting character getting tongue cut out for saving the day level yeah, shit oh where my it's God, like, it's yeah, like what the fuck, fuck you doing or yeah uh like there was another situation in the same game where the the bard character okay so we, we we found out that there was like a young black dragon hiding amongst like this camp of refugees like wasn't trying to do anything bad but was a black dragon so obviously all of our characters were like black dragon you gotta go, bud. So we tried killing it, obviously, because it's a black dragon. Even if it is, like, young, it's still a dragon, right? Like, our characters will reasonably be like, well, you can't reason with the dragon. It's a dragon. Mm. Except the bard. The bard saved the dragon. He, he dimension doored the dragon away uh, and, like, went with it. It was like, here, you, like, you run off in this direction. I'll tell them you got away. I couldn't fight you alone. Uh, all, all this shit. Uh, so you like, you know, you go on, it'll be fine. It's, it was nice to meet you. You seem like a nice black dragon and the black dragon runs off and the black dragon's older brother shows up and is like, mm, mm, your people attack my brother. And he was like, yeah, no, I know it was crazy. I saved him. He's like, mm, yeah, uh, thanks for that. Here, let me see your hand. I want to give you something real quick. And he ripped the bard's finger off. Oh, I remember left. this fucking story. And oh we my were like, God. But, but what? Wait, they were black dragons. I thought they were red dragons. No, it was black dragons. Oh, maybe I'll mix um, up with a like different. Like that matters. <laughs> uh, well, no, but I for some reason thought it was red dragons because like black dragons are more like manipulative and like they like to torture their food and stuff. Red dragons are just asshole bullies. Like, yeah, let me see your hand. Want to see a prank, bro? Rips finger off. I, I guess. <laughs> I don't just, know. Yeah. So we were like, just well, why, why are you punishing him for doing <laughs> like for for doing the right thing? And then the GM's response was, well, it's a black dragon. What did you think was going to happen? It's like. So we should have killed the black dragon. And then he's like, well, yeah, but then you would have had to fight an adult black dragon to which no one verbalized. But we all were like, my guy, we dish out like 200 damage around. It does not matter what dragon you throw at us. We're level 14. It's going to fucking explode in four rounds. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Jeez. I mean? Like my yeah. character was yeah. doing a, uh, a fireballs. A more, yeah, I was doing... 8d6 plus yeah 8d6 plus 2d8 plus 1d8 plus 1d6 per round plus 12 there's not a whole lot that i can't take down in a few rounds if someone's there to eat damage for me you know yeah, yeah. uh so like yeah. i just yeah it, it was one of those things where it's like it, it seemed like 
it probably would have been the better option to kill that dragon, let the brother come in, get angry, kill that dragon, take a long rest, wait for the other dragon to show up, kill that dragon, you know, yeah, like just keep going. Yeah, we would have just run like Farm a run, the XP yeah, off the run a fade on a family of dragons, and then the ancient dragon shows up and maybe TPKs the party, maybe. But I had the positron cannon at that point, so like probably not. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, it just yeah, it, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was. Uh, and, and then by the end of the campaign, it was a lot more players, me included, got. And I feel bad for Joe, my buddy, because he ran the game for us. But and, and a lot of it was like encounters from the book. He ran as written. And a lot of the encounters and stuff and the, like some of the traps and the environmental hazards were kind of were brutal. And so by the end of the campaign, a lot of us in our group would get kind of snippy with him because we were like kind of annoyed by all this shit in the book and then by the end of it, i realized i'm like oh wait guys yo we're I, I even posted a big thing where i'm like hey guys i think we all need to kind of check in real quick everyone's starting to get get at each other's throats this is a game yeah some of this stuff is kind of bs but you know it's in the book so let's just you know chill for a moment everyone's like yeah 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 because we were getting frustrated. It was mostly frustration, which is why a lot of people started getting snippy at each other, yeah. at Joe. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely valid to not want to have that kind of bullshit um, rocking up. You know, that's a that's a valid thing to be like, I hate when this shit happens at my table. That's for sure. Mm. Uh, I, I do. F it is kind of funny because a lot of people get mad if, oh, you know, my character got shit on or like, oh, you know, I didn't do anything in this combat, blah, blah, blah. And it's kind of funny because uh, because a character, my character is just like a vehicle for me. If they get like their fucking hand cut off or whatever, I'm probably not going to be mad. I'm going to be like, well, that's interesting. Um, But the th when yeah. I start to get mad is when it rolls over into like when it's not just the GM being like, oh, bad shit happens to your character. And when it becomes the GM being like, I'm annoyed at you, player. So I'm punishing you, player, oh in various God. forms. Yeah, no, that's when it gets rough. The other thing is when like, you know, if 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 I'm a if I as a player, I mean, conf well, I guess this could go either way. If somebody's something, I think. So this does stir the aggression quite a lot. And this is some shit that I really hate because it's like it doesn't it, it's easy problem to solve. If somebody's confused about a thing, right, because we're all we're all, you know, the way the game is played, you know, we're all agreeing on like a shared mental space that doesn't actually exist. So if somebody gets confused about a thing and is like having a hard time grasping the scenario, do not get pissed off <laughs> at them or annoyed at them and being like, why can't you figure it out, dum dum, or whatever? Like, that shit gets me really fucking tight. Like, do not, like, if I'm the GM and I'm not explaining something to you well, don't get pissed at me. Say to me, I don't, what do you mean? I don't get it. Explain, clarify, whatever. And vice versa, if I'm the player and I ask for a clarification, you know, do your best. And if it's still not getting through, then clearly we have to, you know, like, oh, yeah. adjust things yes. in some fashion. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a big one. This is not specifically just at my table. This happens a little bit at my table, but this happens a lot at tables that I'm on. Uh, just no. not so like you. You guys know me. You've run for me before. I ask a million questions because I like yeah. it, it, it. Josh has pointed it out, right? I will ask questions and edit and alter and remake the plan until I get the solution I want. Um, ask questions. <laughs> just ask. Like there are no dumb questions. If, if you were like, can I ask the dragon to go away? Like, yeah, I mean, ro <laughs> fucking roll for it, my guy. Like, CR, like, you know, fucking DC 32, no nat 20s allowed. Go yeah, for it, Yeah, what do bitch. you say to the dragon to ask, you know, you yeah. just straight up ask him to go yeah. away? Or do you want to put it more elegantly? Can you leave, please, sir? I'll give you a bonus <laughs> if you do it elegantly. Like, like right? Like, if you're, if you're like, what, what do you say to him? And the, the fucking bard's like... I right, Holmes, I'm gonna be real with you real quick. We just fought a Sarah It's been a long ass fucking day. I wanna go get a drink. I want some food. Maybe I'll hit up the brothel. I'm not gonna go there for the for the peoples, but I like their chicken wings. You know, like <laughs> I'll buy you, you a chicken wing. Just yeah. please don't I'll buy you your some fire wings, at my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do that, I, I would I would honestly as the GM be like, 
the red dragon kind of gets down low to you. It's like, how good are these chicken wings? You know, they're like, speak of these wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Give me the chicken and then you, then you go to Hooters in the Forgotten Realms. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, uh, looters, according to Joe Cat. Oh my God. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> I hate it. But uh, yeah, yeah. So like, just ask questions. Ask as many fucking questions as you need to feel like you have a good idea of what's going on. Because if you don't, I don't know what you don't understand. So yeah. I can't explain to you what you don't understand if you if if you're not letting me know, right? Because like, I, this has happened to me before. Uh, this hasn't happened specifically at my table, but I I've 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 been at tables where people have been like, I just don't know what's going on. When mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah, it it. If it's like a complex, if there's like a, like a massive political meeting with leaders of like different political landscapes in the land, that's that's one thing, right? But if it's if it's literally as simple as, you know, there's a troll on the bridge, and people are like, what's going on right now? <laughs> it's like we're we're we're, we're f- there's a troll. There's a troll on the bridge. It's on a bridge. It wants to fight. That that's what's happening. Are we? What's a troll? I'm just like, all right, roll initiative. Yeah, yeah. And so like, <laughs> I have a like roll initiative, but not with the troll. It with seems me. so Pulls goofy, but this has happened to me. When it, and it, it like, I like it not while I was running again. Like I was at the table and I just sat there like, what do you, where have you been for? You've been here at the table for 10 minutes. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, uh, and I just like, I'm like mashing my temples into fucking paste because I just don't get it. Um. Yeah, that grinds the fuck out of my gears, even if I'm not running the game. Because then I, I get, like, mad for the GM. You know what I mean? Like, it- Well, like, yeah, I mean, so an example I was specifically thinking of, and I feel a little bit bad putting him on blast because he's not here right now, but oh, I'm no. going to put Sam on blast oh, a no. little bit. Oh, no. oh shit, brother. Uh, All he's the way in the, from warp. the warp. He's killing I, demons. I know, I know. But do you remember? So I don't remember if, Matt, you were playing with us or not at this point, but this was Curse of Strahd. I think you were. I think you were there for this. Oh, Matt. you're you're going to talk about the, uh, the, the, the fucking... The, the vineyard, right? The winery. The vineyard, yeah, yep, yeah, on the yeah, balconies. Yeah, we were yeah, in the yeah, vineyard. yeah, yeah. And the, yeah, the dudes were on the ba- so. Oh, the balcony for, bit. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. yeah. So, so for yeah, f- for those listening, just to sort of paint the scene. Spoilers. So it was. Yeah, curse of Strahd spoilers. For an Alert, not really. Game, Actually, honestly. <laughs> Barely spoilers, because I'm not really going to describe anything that was really going on. We were in this vineyard, and we were in the um, like the storage room where the where you would store the wine in the big ass barrels, like the big casks. And there was an upper floor. So there was a we came in through the door on the first floor. There was a staircase in the middle of the room. The staircase led to a second level. And then there was a balcony looking down on the first level. And I don't remember what it was about the map, but there was something about the way the map was drawn that did not make the distinction between the two levels very clear. So what happened was I think we were trying to target someone who was behind the staircase, but we didn't realize he was behind the staircase because we thought... Or, or we were behind the staircase and he was on the second level. It was something along those lines. I forget the specifics. Because it was a while ago. But, you know, we were trying to target an enemy that in reality we couldn't actually see. But we were not aware of the fact that we couldn't see him. So we kept being like, wait, Sam, what do you mean? Why can't I do Wait, but he's right there. But I don't. And eventually we got like Sam got mad. And then I, I, it was either me or I don't remember. Maybe it was me. It might have been Isaiah. I don't remember. One of us got mad at Sam being like, what the fuck are you mean? Like, so we just got like totally we just got mad at each other and it became like a weird argument. And then it was just and then eventually we realized what it was and we're like, oh, okay." But like there was a lot of unreasonable fighting going on (laughs) that just like did not need to happen. And it was just one of those things where it was just like if Sam had just been like, pause, it's this and like slowed it down or whatever or if we had i don't know or if we just had paid more to like there's a couple of things a couple of ways it could have gone but yeah that kind of shit it also i mean it's worth mentioning it's bad the map (laughs) itself was it was confusing i don't remember why but it was it was uh, it was just like they they if i remember correctly they drew the balconies 
to look like it looked like the balconies were on the first floor which like doesn't make yeah. sense dimensionally so we were like wait is this is this showing above or below the balconies and like are how yeah i remember the, the balconies were just a really weird yeah something problem. about the balconies was unclear yeah i don't remember again I, I, yeah like why exactly I, I fuck if i can remember but it was definitely a thing um so yeah like those kind of situations are definitely not great oh, or like sometimes gms i know will get mad at players for like getting lost on what the plot is but you know yeah. bro like sometimes it, sometimes you forget sometimes it's not clear especially mm-hmm. if you're one of those gms who's like time to game of thrones it up and you throw out eight million npcs it's yeah, like yeah yeah it's hard to follow sometimes like, it's, uh, i have a whole npc chat my, uh, with pictures names everything for my players because literally strict yeah. savings like here's 30 npcs and i'm like jesus no, fuck. just 30 that's light work god i don't even the bro. first week of school Bro, hold on. <laughs> I, I actually am about to go through and count the NPCs I have really? just now. Right. Uh, but no, I get that because my and same thing last week with my players. They literally were like, they're like, Matt, wait, shit. What, what was our task? What were we supposed to do? And, there are, and then me at first was like, well, you guys were just told this like a couple days ago. But then thinking back, it's like, OK, actually, it's been like three fucking weeks in real time. So probably, am I? You know, oh, some of my yeah, players don't shit. take notes. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, a while. let me actually go back and explain it because it actually has been a while for you, the players. And then I told them what the task was, what their their quest, mm-hmm. their mission was, and they're like, oh yeah, 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 because like some of them take notes and someone's like, I think I'm missing some info. I don't know. So it is good to always like every once in a while refresh your players because again, time time is a bitch. Anyways, yeah, I, I mean, if it's NPC. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah, it's totally no that like that's totally a valid thing too, right? If it's been four weeks IRL, you know, it's it's been four weeks for US players, it hasn't been four weeks for your characters. So it is reasonable to remind the players oh, so that they, because the characters would know what. I just counted how many NPCs I have, like listed yeah. and unlisted. <laughs> Mr. NPC man over here. We're, we're, we're coming NPC close to ninety. Man. Sir. I believe it. My god. No one of your players are so forgetful. They have to cram all this information. To be fair, though, 90. I have I have a full encyclopedia. I'm, I'm still working. I'm like I'm expanding it, but I do have a full yeah. encyclopedia of where the people come from, what like their their faction in places. Con nine Joe. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> like I have like I have a the I have a list of the faction they're in, the like squad in the faction, their profession, their name, a little blurb, often oh a picture. God. I went I'm go, I'm going really hard because I hadn't updated it like realistically. Like I haven't done like an overhaul of it in about six months. So I really gotta I really gotta go hard in the motherfucking paint for that. But yeah, like 90 NPCs. Players, I'm so sorry. It's only gonna get worse. There's at least 30 NPCs in this area. I uh, is it uh, look the good news you don't have to meet them all. You probably won't, but they're there. <laughs> you probably won't, but it's okay. In case you do. They're there. I think at that point I'd just be like, all right, they're I'm waiting. assigning signing you guys numbers. Don't take offense. <laughs> just as a player you're like all right that guy's one that guy's two that guy's three <laughs> actually they're twins so that's three a and three b oh, three a. oh no because i know uh uh fucking lp just gave me a list of his character specific npcs hold on one two three okay just three for now all right so yeah we're, we're safely in the 90 range <laughs> jesus christ we're, we're at a dude. safe oh my god solid 90 something i don't know what the something is but it's just there Mm. I'm so sorry. Fuck me. Mm. Well, uh, so yeah, th- I mean, that's a that's a totally valid one, Matt. Now try not to get too yeah. Uh, yeah. too salty at your fucking table. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Keep, keep, valid. keep your emotions in check. Remember that this is a game. We're all here to have fun. If you get mad, maybe like talk to the DM and be like, yo, can we pause for a minute? And then, you know, air your grievances out, maybe, or just take five and get a drink of water or something. I don't know. All right. So I, I'm, I, I got another, I got another one incoming and I don't know how y'all are going to feel about this, but mm, I already fucking... barely accepted the first one. This is going to be fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. So another thing I really fucking hate and I understand, understand the urge to get why people do it. 
I know what the thinking is, but you just, you gotta, when you, when you get to this place, you need to take a pause when you're a player. I hate when players, the first thing they do is run straight to the craziest fucking idea and then look for the homebrew or start hacking to reinforce their crazy fucking idea. I hate when they're like, I'm going to play a half angel, half devil demon god who has the sword of Achaeus that could cut mountains in half. And I'm going to find a homebrew subclass on D&D fucking homebrew shit dot com that'll tell me I can do it. And I'm going to give it to you, GM, and be like, is this reasonable? Just stop. Stop. Get you could have just said no homebrew. Like, I think he's that <laughs> shit. Well, it's not just it's so that's the thing. The reason I said no homebrew, because it's not just homebrew. It is the it is this uh, this it, uh, new players actually do this more, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I was gonna say it this, is this, this. This seems like a, go on, go on. You know what, go on. It is it is this tendency that a lot of new players want to play this crazy, wacky, woohoo, over the top anime esque bullshit because of like some movie character or something, and they don't they don't read usually when they're doing this they don't look at the game first they just say i want to play deadpool how can i play deadpool rather than looking at the game and actually understanding what the game is about and getting a vibe like the first thing they go for is like playing a weird idea or hacking mechanics or doing this or doing like like playing outside the standard because they want to feel special and cool rather than looking at what the game has to offer and coming up with an interesting idea within those constraints because you know you say to a player you could do whatever the fuck you want and then they go oh so i can do anything i want to play god and it's like no you can't play god what if i play zeus it's like no you you can't like p- just play zeus like Listen, you know according I mean? to gary gygax if a player comes to your table and asks you to play a dragon you yeah, have to let them play a dragon i don't have to let them do <laughs> shit he said i he said i could let them i could but like the thing it's that, in you the know, rules it's, therefore it's it like, is fact it's like the thing where someone's like all right i want to play wolverine and then they go and find like a wolverine homebrew instead of thinking about how they could play a barbarian and basically retool it to be wolverine you know what i mean like Actually, i find whole... the opposite i find most players are like i want to make wolverine how can i do it in 5e and then they I, do that I, I, a lot I, of, but a, a lot of players run straight to hacking or homebrew though rather than looking at what's well, already there well, and trying to work with it so I, I a think, lot of new players are like no i need to hack it in so i can have metallic claws and all the bullshit well so i think the thing here is that it, it uh, one thing i think you're both missing is that it, uh, i've noticed that it primarily comes from new players like players you know i just said that multiple the, times well like because i said new players multiple I, times i, I, I know I, I guess i just because you said uh, you guess. said new players and then you said always without say I don't know. I said new players almost always have this tendency. New player. I am talking about new players. And and sometimes it's not new players. Well there, there's t- sometimes it's either new players or it's players who have been playing for a really long time and they have this weird urge to like fucking upend the table, you know? Metaphorically, not necessarily literally. I, I don't know. I I feel like if if you've been playing for so long that you're like I just want to try something new. I think at, that's more reasonable. Yeah, I was gonna say like because because I've seen the you've argument been for of, a long time. If you've been playing for a while, you also know what homebrew to look at, and you have a better eye for this is reasonable or this isn't reasonable. Yeah, you of know, course, stuff like that. Because uh, I've seen I the hope. argument of have you played every race class and subclass, and it's like no, but I don't fucking want to. Like. I, no, I, I'm not necessarily saying that. No, no, I know, I know you're not. But that's that's a real argument I've seen. People be like, "Why don't you just play everything before you want homebrew?" It's like because I don't want to. I do think homebrew gets out of hand. I think people jump to it a little too fast a lot of the time. It's, that's real. Um, but no, I'm not saying you have to play. You know, it's like it's the thing where it's like, uh, you know, to me, let's say I don't know. You want to be like, all right. Um, I, I want to play, you know, fucking beast from the X Men. You know, all right, let's look up some some. Let's look up a homebrew race that'll let me play. It's like no, no, no. Rather than doing that, why don't we see if we can like retool the GIF or like maybe re, you know retool a Minotaur or something to get like and then you know we can make like do like a wizard thing because beast is big brain. You know, like that kind of stuff is more interesting and in, to sort of like fiddle and noodle. 
than just running straight into Hackland or Homebrew Land or just like crazy wacky in general. You know, it, it, it's just it makes you know what I think of all the time. I think of that Z Bashu video where he was like, "Yeah, my first character was like a half angel man who fell from the heavens." I in fucking a meteorite. love that video. It's so I literally good. think of it all the time. He's like, "My character, my first character when I was thirteen, I wanted to play a half angel greatsword wielding like fucking anime protagonist, and I fell from the sky in a meteor." And then the DM said, "Okay, cool, your character dies," and then handed me a rogue character sheet. All right, I real, told you guys that's where though? my joke, the halfling rogue, comes from, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, real shit yeah. though. I would want to play that character. I want to play the half angel man who fell from the heavens, but is just shell shocked about everything. There's no edge. <laughs> He's just like, "What? You people have He's to walk. Confused. You Fuck. need to eat." God. He's just deeply confused about yeah, it. Like, yeah, why it's am I like, wearing thirty chains as belts? This was a horrible idea. Yeah, yeah, this is like, a bad idea. It's like, wait, there are other colors other than white. It's like, yeah, what? Wait, next you're gonna say there's what? like other clothing other than togas? It's like. What? <laughs> you know, I want to play that half angel man. <laughs> that is a very different interpretation. Yeah, yeah. You tell me, well, I, you know my me. bits dangling. You know me. I gotta be wearing protective gear. My my dream is always to play the edgiest character possible and then uh, de edgify them. So like, yeah, <laughs> de edgify them. Yeah. Um, that Christmas cactus know, going a long way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, you know, it's like that story of your one friend who's I Isaiah, who's like, I want to play Deadpool. And it's like, that's not really a reasonable request, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I get it. You're having this wacky idea because you don't really know what D&D is yet. So you're making sort of assumptions about things. But that's why it's like, if you haven't played the game, like, just play it the first time. Just play. Honestly, <laughs> new players, I think what you should do if you're a new player the shit you should play is like the classics. You should play an elven druid. You should play a human fighter. You should play a halfling rogue. You should play a fucking half orc barbarian. Like that is, I think, the best way to start. I, and, I, and I'm not memeing. I'm being 100 percent dead ass. Like that is, I think, how you should start when you are a new player, because that is the sort of. I don't want to say the correct way to play, but like that is how you're supposed to come into it right like that is supposed to be how the entry is you're, you're playing aragorn you're not playing fucking ichigo you know what i mean <laughs> so uh, okay I, I have two things a should i tell that deadpool story uh and b you have already have i did i did i, did I talk yeah. about that on, on podcast yeah yeah i don't remember in what context but you've definitely said uh, talked about it all right uh so so i i did i should i tell uh did i tell you guys what my what my two brothers ran uh when i ran a one shot for them Oh god! Oh, no, like, I didn't know you were right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this, was, this was years ago. This is back when we were still in school. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, it's not. I meant to run like a mini campaign of of uh, Horde of the Dragon Queen, uh, oh, right. and it was. I, I was basically just gonna take the take the module and just shorten it to like five sessions. Like we were we were gonna go zoom in. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically, I was gonna treat it like a movie. You know, like we just cut scenes out because I don't. I, I wasn't fin to run twenty sessions. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, my youngest brother, who uh, he's not edgy at all. Like he wears like a lot of street clothes. He he, you know, he he acts pretty normal. He watches anime, but like he's not like he's not a weeb by any means. And I was, uh -huh. I was like, okay, like what's your what's your what what is your character going to be? And I gave him a breakdown of the different classes. I gave him a breakdown of the different races, and like I I, I worked him through like you know what you can and can't do. And he was like, okay, I got it. Ready. I want to play a katana wielding samurai fire genasi whose hair is on fire and wears bunny slippers. And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I kind of like that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm the lazy samurai. Fuck. Yeah, I, I just sat there fucking dumbfounded. I was so fucking confused, my guy. Like, that's... I just, I just sat there like, no, uh, and he was like, mm, I really want those bunny slippers. I'm like, no, you're not allowed to have fucking bunny slippers. Fuck you. I just like, Aww, I, I just was like, I, I, cause you know, I was, I was like, no, I have to shit on him a little bit. No bunny slippers for you. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. The katana wielding fire genasi parts. Fine. That works. Right, like yeah 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 it was just, that's not that crazy i mean there's no katanas but it's easy to just be like a long sword is a katana or whatever or a scimitar is a katana yeah I, i'm pretty sure i made it a, a rapier uh rapier yeah, yeah. Like, 
Yeah, he was like he he played samurai too. He went whole hog. He played samurai played fighter. Samurai so yeah, I mean, yeah. hey, there's a subclass. Uh, so I, I told him too. I was like, hey man, this this one's not great. And he was like, eh, but it's called samurai. It's probably gonna be fine. I'm like, all right, man, that's what you want. My uh, my think, my other younger brother. Did he say it was not in fact fine? I mean, we only played one session because him and him uh, and my okay. other brother wouldn't stop like fighting the entire time, like out of character, being like, no, you're an idiot. I don't want to do this. I'm like, fucking Christ, goddamn it. Um, uh, my other younger brother played a gnome brewer barbarian, a, so mm -hmm. a dex barbarian, f uh, a full hero brewer, who basically like stumbled his way to fame. Like he was like he was he was like brewing up some booze, and then his hut exploded, and like the exploding hut took out like a horde of go like, a, like a small goblin tribe and everyone's like oh my god you're the hero you saved us with that perfectly timed explosion and he was like what what uh yeah of course i did <laughs> uh, yeah, shifty, yeah, sure shifty eyes uh, with a pet beaver not a familiar you're just a beaver and i was like all right man well you oh. just don't want you to know if this beaver dies you're fucked and he's like that's a risk i'm willing to take <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the, uh, all right, the 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 beaver's a little weird, but the rest of that idea is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, though he he I I don't want to put him on full blast because I he he gave me his he wrote his backstory up, and it was the darkest, most depressing backstory I have ever seen in my life. It wasn't edgy. It was like this is too real. The, the, oh, you are actually oh. pulling from your real trauma. I don't know how comfortable I feel reading this. I'm gonna be straight hundo with you right now. Oh, that's a Jeez. little weird. Yeah, right. yeah. I was like, oh, I wonder what the what the fuck, what the oh fuck. My God, you go over to what the fuck, bro. Yeah, I was like, dude, what the fuck is this? Something? And he was like, what? <laughs> you know, like he, he's like, he was like 14 at the time, too. And I was just like, Jeez. oh my God. Oh damn. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a. Uh... It's yeah. a bit much, but uh, yeah. other than that part, yeah. the rest of that was pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I don't know. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, I just new players. If you're listening. You know, just play the elf. <laughs> play play the neutral elf druid. Wait. Play the lawful good human paladin. I, it's okay. I have to tell this quick story. I'm sorry. Oh no. This is completely related to anything this is a conversation i had oh, with my no. dad yesterday <laughs> we were talking about uh -huh. that the dota animated TV, uh, animated series that just that just finished up and he uh -huh. was asking me about the 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 status the the alive or dead status of a specific character and he was like Isaiah, I just need you to know, if this character dies, you'll find me in 24 hours on a highway, dual wielding SMGs, butt naked, covered in peanut butter and war paint, and I will declare war on the universe. And I was like, Dad, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> like, I, I was like, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. like, I was like, mm -hmm, uh-huh. Um, and then he said peanut butter and war paint. And I was like, uh-huh. Wait, 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 wait. What? And it was wasn't like, yes, that he the, took he, peanut butter and <laughs> spread it on himself like war paint. He and put on he, the war paint first and then just for extra measure, slathered himself in peanut goes, butter. He goes, <laughs> he goes, it's for the K9 unit. They're going to come over and try to bite me and then they'll lick the peanut butter off and they won't hurt me. So they will give me the under. React. I was oh, like, oh, what are you oh, talking oh, about? Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's a good plan. That's a good idea. Oh my god. I love you, Dad. But <laughs> fucking cry. I, don't, I, I think he watches D &D. this. I don't know. Oh, he does? Uh, 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 yeah, I know he watched the first few episodes. I don't know if he still watches, but yeah, just peanut butter oh, man, and fucking I don't know how he's watching. watching. There's no video, but you know. I should yeah, the fuck yeah, up. It's on, on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> hey, don't forget to like, comment, Listen. subscribe. Hit the smash button. Anyways. I just, I died. I died. God, in D and D, you just gotta do that with a player. What the fuck made you think of that? Um, just the, the ridiculousness of a, of a barbarian gnome alcoholic with a beaver. Just like the the sheer level of himself absurdity himself was like it just connected the two combat. brain cells I have left. <laughs> I, I see, I see. Um, well, Isaiah, you want to take us away? Any other any other complaints you have? Uh, uh yeah, I mean, uh. I hate when my players <laughs> don't I have, bring peanut butter to come. I have I have literally no way to segue from that, so we're just no. It's fine. There, there's nothing you can on. do. You just it, it, no. I can't. It, yeah, bailiff smack his nuts. Like that's all we got. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, for what's what's another one I have? Um, uh, trying to think. Fuck. Lay cry. Uh. 
uh, this is a minor one, but this does grind my gears. People getting up uh -huh. from the table every two seconds. Like, oh, yeah, like yeah. I, it, nothing kills my motivation more when three players are AFK. And I'm like, who am I even espousing to who right am I now? talking to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, feel, I feel bad because I uh, during Storm King Standard, I'd have to I did not like every other like minute. But usually after like an hour or so, I have to be like, hey, guys, I'll be right back. I can go walk my dogs. And then for like five, ten minutes, I'd be gone and come back and then be like, ah, shit. All right. What's happening? Someone catch me up like five seconds. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, usually uh, when that situation happens, I pause my game. Yeah, uh, like I try to do like like I've got some players who show up late because they're eating dinner. Some players get up halfway through to do X, Y or Z. And I understand that people have res like responsibilities and, and things that they need to Fucking do. Fucking losers and, with like, lives. Their real lives like take meds and How shit. How dare they? But it, it nothing kills my motivation more than when there's just no one when there's one person listening when I'm supposed to be at like lore dumping on the whole party so they all understand the situation and not so that like the you know the three players come back and say what did we just miss and then the player has to try to explain it and then they don't actually really know because they're just the players and like I have to re-explain everything and then we lost 20 minutes and then like it, it throws my entire sense of like flow for the session so other things meander and other things get sped up and it just like it kills me it really like I mean, in that particular situation, you, I just put the game on pause, my guy. Like, well, like, it's not worth. It, it. Yeah, but like, how it when when it happens multiple times a session, it gets kind of hard, you know. Like, the, I, I mean, know, but I'm saying if it's a particularly important lore dump kind of situation, yeah, uh, then you just gotta put that bitch on pause. Yeah. yeah, there's that, and uh, uh, yeah, just that, and I, when I know players are fucking around, like, like when when they're like, yeah, they're just actively yeah. not paying attention or fucking playing Genshin Impact or some shit. Well, like, okay, look, I, I actually had to talk to my players last week because a few of my players were like, were grinding in 14 during session and people what are like, that's fuck? really disrespectful. Yeah, I, what the hell? I, I can't say that I feel the same way because I do that too. It like, I have Bruh. such bad ADHD that I need to be occupying myself and 99% of the time in session, I'm like on Pinterest or like I'm on like I'm just scrolling Twitter, but ask anybody I play with. I'm the most active player at the table, even though I'm doing four other things at once. Yeah, but you're not playing a video game. Yeah, well, video like, game. Like I feel if, like a video game because that's, that's a whole nother level. That was going to be a pet I brought up because that is like that takes a lot of even if you have ADD or whatever, it, it, that takes a lot of attention away. A lot. It's of like your you attention. can't play two video games at the same time. You can't play D&D &D and Genshin at the same time. Something's yeah, no, gotta give. Up. Something's gonna pull your attention more than the other. Well, yeah. Well, like, obviously, it's, it's so the the, and like I, I'm I'm actually defending this. I am because like I have done like, uh, for I've I've played in in several yeah, games you, and you've just, ad, you've admitted you've admitted yeah. to it before. Well, I know, yeah, well, I know you played it's, Kingdom fucking Kingdom Hearts while in a session. Yeah, but because Kingdom Hearts three was so fucking brain dead that I literally like. The only time like, I would play and the only times I ever died in that game was because I was in session and I was playing this session with one hand trying to roll dice with the other and I just stopped looking at the screen and then I died and I was like, oh, LMAO, LMAO. But yeah, when, when it's mindless shit, it's fine. If you're fucking nah. if you're like labbing in a fighting game and you're just hitting buttons to watch cool animations, that's fine. That's not labbing. Right, so when, if when, you're if you're if you're genuinely labbing in a fighting game while trying to play, yeah, okay, you are not yeah, fucking. If, you, if you're attention. genuinely labbing, but if you're just fucking around no in fucking training way. mode while in session, that's fine, right? You're just trying to occupy your hands. Um, mm, but I would say nah. get a fidget spinner or something at that I point, man. Better ways, yeah. <laughs> better ways. Or uh, nah. what are those cubes? The fidget cube, right? That's the one with all the yeah. different buttons. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, no, can't defend this. No, I mean, yeah, it's fine. No. But like, so I I get it, but when it when I feel like players are getting distracted by if the you, shit they're doing, that's what I'm like, guys, come on, like, what am I doing well, this for? Also, then? your players already have an issue with paying attention, so now they have a double issue with paying attention if they're also fucking farming hunts in 14, you know, like, that's kind of, that's, that's fucked up, you know? I just, like, uh, it, it, I don't know. I, I, it'd be one thing if you're a really fucking tentative player and then you're like, also roll in a dungeon but you're you're still fucking on your shit but if they're already already your players have a hard time paying attention and they're playing a game now they're really fucking up that's fucked like that's fucked up 
like I I won't say it because my players listen to this, but I, I but your players know me. I they do. I say it. That's fucked up. Players, stop playing board fourteen when you're in a fucking session. If you don't want to play the session, just say so before you start. Yeah, I mean, look, I I, I literally He's can't straight. say it because then I'd be a hypocrite and I want to do that. But like, you know, I mean, yeah, I got on your ass when you told me you did it too. Yeah, yeah. Fucker. I mean, I'll sc- the most I will do is like I'll have a Twitch stream open and like scroll Twitter a little bit. But like that literally is no like that is not attend that is not absorbing any attention like of my brain. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm usually like, like I, googling D and D shit during I, games like while I'm yeah. like, did I fuck up a ruling or is that or what's going on or I'll just you know that can sometimes take your attention if you're reading too much. Yeah, it yeah, can, yeah. yeah. Like for so for me like the the games thing, it's not common. Uh, like again, unless I'm like running around in circles in Elden Ring and I'm just murdering things to, to keep my hands busy. Usually I'm like in a character. Tr- I'm, usually I'm on fucking Hero Forge. I do that a lot during sessions. I'm on Hero Forge and I just start making Hero Forge models of the NPCs we're talking to based on how I think they exist. <laughs> I've made so many for your game, Josh. It's not even fucking funny. Like save all of these. No, no. I make them and immediately clear them and make a new one like. Oh. No, no, I, I, my guy, <laughs> my Hero Forge sad. catalog like, oh, is like damn, 120 dude. characters. Well, I more. cannot. I know, that's why, I, that's why I was wondering. I was like, there's no way he's saving these. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, Hilarious. No, yeah. like I made like, I made like three different ones of Rebellion at like the different stages we saw him in. Um, <laughs> I made one of, uh, I never saved them, but I made all of our legacy characters. I made all of our Tideweaver characters. Uh, I made one of Snarla because I just was like having a moment one Snarla? day. Yeah, because yeah. it's easy. Just werewolf yeah. lady with a wizard hat. I was like, yeah, this is, it took me two seconds okay. and I just, I got such a chuckle out of it in the middle of the session. Great. Fucking Snarla. Snarla. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, both of those. Yeah. The getting up from the table. Valid frustration. And the not paying any fucking attention. Valid frustration. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Like, if, like, players, if you can pay attention and you fuck around, I don't give a fuck. Because I do, like I said, I do the same shit. And I'm I still mean, the, the most- occasional mental tap out is fine. Like, I just zoned out for a second. What the fuck did you just say? That's fine. But, like, if you're doing it consistently, nah, stop that. Mm. The players, all I'm saying, you should just be me goof off constantly and still be the most active player in the game (laughs) i mean i'm kidding don't actually that's like really condescending and douchey thing to say i was gonna say that's interesting i feel like also isaiah you wouldn't have this problem playing in person as much no you literally couldn't because i i could literally look at them and be like what are you doing right now if i i'm the teacher i mean you no i'm saying you personally i'm sure probably have less of this issue playing in person uh it depends i i there were some of those kingdom hearts 3 sessions where i was literally in the room with the dungeon master another player and he looked at me and he was like what the fuck are you fighting right now i'm like bro i don't know i'm not paying attention what am i fighting and i look back at the screen and it's like the fucking frozen world boss and i was like wait how did this what am i doing right now Uh, just so the disrespect. No, dude, it was, it's funny when the GM got in on it, like, and he was just like, dude, what is, are no, they I literally the disrespect sing- to Kingdom Hearts? Oh, yeah, I, I literally, I remember one day, he, like, took his headphones and just threw them off and was like, is that fucking let it go? And I was like, unfucking <laughs> fortunately. And he just, he literally was like, <laughs> yes, guys, sir. we're putting a pause. I have to sit here and scream at Isaiah because he's le- playing Kingdom Hearts 3 and they're singing to let, the it let it go. And I was like, dude, <laughs> I... Yeah. Yeah, if all the times to pause the session, this probably would be it. To just we as a species rage at this terrible moment in gaming history. Yeah, yeah I said it. But uh, Matt, air your dirty laundry. Uh, Unleash your testicles from the I mean, sweaty that, that, undercarriage. Oh of death. damn, that that kind of got into like the playing video games. That, that was that was gonna be my next thing, but I guess I'll go into. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess what really? Oh, okay, this is a good one. So. I as I think I said this in the rogue episode as well, and maybe I probably said this the same phrase a couple of Let's times. Say now. this in your rogue episode, you know what I'm saying, honey? Hey, hey, hey. bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> the um, player play I, again. A lot of this is a thing. A lot of new players tend to do. Um, and honestly, again, I, me and Isaiah, we've we've kind of gone back and forth with the whole like critical role campaign two thing with this. Man, fuck but, like these new players. But so players out there i get it 
fucking Aragorn sitting in the corner. He's real cool. <laughs> he's super sick. He's really cool. And then you meet him and then he's actually just a bro. Please stop. Stop making an edgy fucking rogue with your fucking edgy backstory. Nobody cares. Shut up. Just sit there, play the game, be a team player. God. Remember Fuck. the sec remember the second half of Aragorn, every time. not just the first half. Yeah, every fucking time Vax went off in Critical Role by himself to do some edgy Vax shit. I was like, Jesus Christ, get back to the game, Liam. No, get no, back. no. I loved every bit of that because every time he walked up to someone would say something and go, I sneak off. I just fucking dude, I, I dude, that, lost that, my mind with I, laughter. I would I if I was sitting at that table, I literally would have just like, motherfucker. <laughs> like I just want to turn and just give him the stink eye, the fucking. Uh, I, I mean, well, I'm that? pretty sure Uncle most Tito of the party, stink eye, the, yeah, the fucking most of power. the party gave him the stink eye for it. I, he didn't <laughs> stop him from time to time. Did yeah. not stop him. My man yes, stuck to his guns. Yeah, fucking good for him. Because <laughs> there yeah, is no, it didn't a, stop him. Because a lot of players do the thing where like they want to play the solo character, and they either break off from the party constantly, split the party, or I joke the edgy rogue, and like they want to do their own thing. But again, at the end of the day, this is a team game. Like, you gotta, like, you gotta give a little bit. I'll let you have, like, the DMs will have, if you're a good DM, let the player have their moments in the spotlight, have their cool moments. But, like, this is a, there's, you know, four, five other players in the game with you. You, you gotta be a team player. You gotta work with them. You can't, you can't go, you know, you can't do that. Like, it, it, it's a big annoyance of me. Not that I've, not that I really dealt with it, but I've had too many, too many uh, green text videos and all these like the D&D subreddits of bad players, all these YouTube videos, uh, Neckbeardia, Mr. Ripper, and just hearing the stories of all of these people. And I'm just like, my God, can can no one just make a not edgy, like, you know, solo character in a game like you can. <sighs> Again, yeah, I don't want to say like split off on the party. Don't do that. But like, don't do it no, all the time. Do it. Like, don't, don't do fucking, it. You fuck it. Don't make it, it your out. thing. Like, don't make it Definitely your thing. Don't make like, it your thing. Off. And you're like, you know, fucking, <laughs> you know, like fucking. <laughs> like, don't Matt, fucking can do, you that. do that again. <laughs> what? I don't know the way you said sneak off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just turn to just fucking caveman, caveman. Uh, uh, sneak off. <laughs> hey, strong together. <laughs> 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 just like, this this <laughs> oh just, like, god! Sneak I, away. Yeah, I, I just, just yeah. fuck me. I said D &D strong together. Is a, my is brain just game. devolved don't. to pee pee strong together. Pee pee strong. <laughs> I no, I Stick agree, Matt. Pee pee strong. <laughs> it's a fucking, it's a team game. Like, stop fucking sneaking off. Stop being the solo dickhead. Like, just cut that shit out. I, Nobody uh, cares how massive your edgy donger is. I, I, you know what I want to? Okay. Okay, real talk. Real talk. Real, real shit. Everyone call the deer. It's time for the real talk. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? What is that tendency? Why does everyone want to play the edgy root? We, like, we are three, we are, we are three people who, who, who you know, were born in the 90s. You know, the, the edge, the edge factor was strong. And I love me a little edge, you know? Like, I love me some edgy juice within reason. Yes, I too grew up listening to Linkin Park. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Like, we, we grew up listening to Linkin Park. Spawn <laughs> was hot, you know? Like, yeah. Venom is cool. You know, like, yeah, I get it. Venom. Venom. Stop, I can't. <laughs> Venom. <laughs> I want Tater Tot City. <laughs> but, like... Fuck. God. That's... We gotta put a pin with that too. We gotta we oh. gotta talk about Venom characters. I want to play Venom characters. Oh my god! How to god. do a symbiote character? In How to do a symbiote? Yeah. yeah. But like, what? What is that tendency? Why does everyone want to play the edgy solo rogue? Don't ask me about my backstory, dude. What what is that? Because I literally, and and this is not to suck my own cock. I mean, maybe it is. Whatever. <sighs> I'm sucking my own cock. I don't care. I have literally never played that character. I've never had the urge to play that character. I don't understand what that train of thought is. Every character I've played, I've thought about how can I like 
every time I'm making a D&D character, my train of thought is not how can I play Strider, right? My train of thought is how can I play Trevor and Alucard? Like, that's always how I'm thinking about it. Like, how can I have my character who bounces off the player, the other player characters? You know, like that is like number one priority for me. So, like, I, I just what is this fucking tendency for everyone to play fucking Geralt? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and no. shit, even Geralt <laughs> fucking works with people every once in a while. <laughs> Maybe not well, say, but like, he does it. Right, let's not forget about his boyfriend, Yaskir. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's Yaskir and like he works with Trish and Jennifer yeah. from time to time. I mean, in the time, book, you know. he actually has his own D&D party. Like the bo- the most of the book series is Geralt and his merry band of, of motherfuckers go Isn't off to save Isn't that later down Siri. the road, though? Hmm? Isn't no, that later, though? That's not literally the, the second book or second or third oh. book. Yeah. He gets up an established party. Um, I'm forgetting all. I think it's Milva, the archer, uh, the vampire guy who I'm blanking on like a motherfucker because I'm an idiot. The one that was in the Blood and Wine DLC. Uh, you have uh, Dandelion. Uh, oh, fuck. Zoltan the dwarf, right? Zoltan's the dwarf. Yeah. yeah the, and Zoltan has his own party of dwarves. So it's literally like a giant fucking like he gets a big party. He's got the squad. And then the anyway. one, the guy from the TV show, the, the Falcon uh fuck Kadir, I think, or Kazadir. He joins their party. So yeah, he gets a whole he gets a big group. Anyway, point being. <laughs> what wh- what is this what is this tendency? Why does everyone want to be fucking Adam Jensen? You know? What, what is this? Where are we at? Uh, you guys might not know who Adam Jensen is, I'm realizing now. No, I have no idea who No, yeah, it's fucking um Deus Ex. Deus Ex. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't play those games. I know of the games. I just don't know shit about them. He operates alone a lot, is the point. I, I just can't not think about his fucking, his voice. Yeah. His totally not solid snake voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But like, yeah, what 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 is that? Like, I don't... I think it's because most you know? video games, you like single player video games or like any kind, most fantasy, like, you know, people tend to go like Skyrim. It's like, all right, so I'm just alone by myself and uh, I'm the most powerful. So I'm in a game with a bunch of other people who are also playing Skyrim. So probably they're also thinking of doing alone stuff. And it's like, oh, no, so it's Matt, not. So what you're saying, Matt, the problem is not enough children grew up playing Final Fantasy. This is the problem. More kids need to play Final Fantasy. I I suppose. Or, well, it's, it's, it's too many children picked up the wrong traits from cloud in final fantasy people took the or edge that. from cloud not realizing that cloud is one of the biggest goons in final fantasy yeah, history not actually that edgy yeah, yeah. no yeah. he's not actually that yeah. edgy he's sort of just a dork like they made him edgier in fucking uh Avid and children yeah well like you know the black cargo pants black long jacket fucking well, also the wolf medallion lone wolf bullshit or, no that they i will defend and... the fenrir logo to the day i die that's my logo, favorite I, I, edge no, no, look, it looks cool, but the fact that they were pushing that angle on the character when that wasn't what he was. The point is, more children need to play Final Fantasy because that's literally all about being best friends together. Also, more kids need to watch better shonen animes that aren't DBZ because in a lot of shonen animes, it's all about that power of friendship. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's I how mean, D&D's supposed to work. Also, You're the not Tales supposed- games are, are very good for that party comp. Tales idea. games. Yeah. Any, any JRPGs, really. Okay. You're not supposed to be Goku. You're supposed to be, you know... Bleh. The Who's game. Good anime? <laughs> you're supposed to be honestly, even though I don't like One Piece, you're supposed to be more like Luffy and less oh, like Goku. God. Mm. You know, like you're supposed to be there with your homies. Like that's the point. I don't think shown anime is good for this because mostly it does end up coming down to the one main character well, rather than the, the whole team. The main character, the main character always saves the day, but the well, main yeah. character, the whole well, point well, is the main character can't do it without his friends. You don't ninety percent. Yeah, of the time. you don't want to be Goku. You want to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, right. there you go. That hey, good again. Yeah. Yeah, like, yes, Ichigo is always the one who saves the day, but, like, you know, or he may and Chad are always behind him, like, giving him a slap on the ass to tell him to go get him, big guy, right? Like, the point is that he can't do it on his own. Yeah. Oh, what about the... I'm trying to think. Yu Yu Hakusho guys. They're pretty... Yes, Yu Yu Hakusho, they're pretty squatted up. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like I don't know. I just I just I just find the the I want to play the edgy solo rogue thing to be very funny, and I really don't understand where that tendency comes from. It just yeah, it just I, seems I, weird. I don't know. I I I think it just comes from like a like a very very particular kind of media, like. Cause, what does that mean? Like what media or even? 
I just, I, I think it's it's a very much like a remnant from the 90s. I think that's really what it'd be. Like, well, no, no not even, because, like, that, that was a problem in fucking, like, second, third edition Older as well. Yeah. too. Yeah. So, like, you so know what I'm it saying. is? Ba- I, I, I blame it. Batman. I'm just going to blame Batman. Ah, fucking Batman. But I Batman has a team Batman. of children that fight crimes with him. Yeah, recently. Not really. Recently. <laughs> let's not forget, there was a time <laughs> where Batman was, like, Batman. lynching people from the Batwing. Like... He, he was not oh, a good we don't, guy. We don't, we don't talk about Affleck. We don't talk about Batfleck. I actually kind of like Batfleck. I, I like the way he looks. I just don't like the movie around him. No, I mean Isaiah. Look, Isaiah, you just Superman, gave me Superman another good reason. You just gave me another excellent reason for why I can say fuck Batman. God damn it! I hate Batman. <laughs> look, the Justice League, the Snyder Cut was good. We had a good Batman in the Snyder I, Cut. I, I still don't want to. Robert watch. Patterson is the best Batman. I, look, I agree. Me. Matt, okay, Matt, I love you. I do. I love you to death, my guy. But weren't, mm-hmm. didn't you literally rewatch the like expanded Lord of the Rings movies recently? Not recently. I, no, I mean, I, I usually try and do that around like Christmas time, like December. But but you do Ew. watch them. Yeah, it's like a holiday thing. Yeah. So Every, but, probably probably once a year. But those movies are like four hours long a pop. Yeah. Yeah. So I when, take breaks. You yeah, okay, okay. You can take break. You, you can, can take breaks the with the Snyder League, cut. Matt. The Snyder cut's yes. literally cut into chapters, and then he's like, "Yeah, but oh, the yeah, problem is, I actually anime, give a shit about fucking the Lord of the Rings." Anime of its DC movie. doesn't fucking. They don't. They don't. Only like certain movies, like Shazam. Now I'm interested in Black Adam. Like some of the movies, like again, this whole EU thing. It's literally been like a downward spiral. They're trying to fix it now. And I don't know. I just I lost interest in the DC movies because I'm like, look at what they how look of how they massacred my boy. And I see all the superhero movies and how like some of them are OK, some are middling and then some of them are just god awful. And they're trying to fix it and they're trying to do well, like the fucking uh, I don't remember what his character's called, but I'm just going to call it the John Cena show. Uh, Peacemaker? That's fucking Peacemaker. Yeah, thank you. That's great. That show's great. I'm one of the outsiders who actually doesn't like the second Suicide Squad movie. I know I'm probably like in the minority on this. Absolutely. Cause I, <laughs> yeah, because I didn't like. I, I didn't it. think the movie was good, but that's just that's just me. I think the first one's fucking worse. Holy shit, that one is way worse. But God, sidetrack. Anyways, my yeah, mom thinks uh, the first movie's better, and I it blows my mind. Really? Yeah. I, Ooh, I, wow, what a take. Yeah, oh, no. I shit. tried to explain to her, and she's like, no, I Who just thought that shit. movie was I'm like, good. what are you talking? Okay. Not need to fuck. First Suicide Squad is so ass. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the, the whole, like, I think it's just a thing. This it's, it's always been around tabletop games of the one try, person trying to be solo, or trying to be cool, and trying to be the superstar. I don't know. Superstar, maybe. It's so many different reasons, and because this fucking this hobby has been around for like over fifty fucking years, you know, who knows? It's a multiple multitude of reasons. Mm. Mm. All right, yeah, I, I'm gonna keep blaming Batman. Fuck Batman. I, I like I like that answer. <laughs> sure, he's so cool though. Fuck <laughs> Batman. Uh, Robert Pattinson, Batman, cool. He and beat Kevin- up Superman. Kevin Conroy Batman cool and that's it. He has a he has a plan for everything, even the sun. I don't shut I don't the know. fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> well now that we've started ranting about DCU time, I We're think We're a DC podcast now, guys. Uh, no, I think it's time to and... it's time to wrap it up, motherfuckers. If we were a DC podcast, all I would ever talk about is how good the Green Lantern story are. My man would like, only ever talk about Sodom Yacht and I nothing would, else. I would only talk about Sodom Yacht because he's and the I only character we need. I would just be crying in the corner because I don't give a fuck about any of them. He is it doesn't amazing. matter, Josh, because all you need is Batman, baby. Let's go. It's all Shut about the Batman. It's up. all about the Batman. Batman <laughs> wasn't even the best character in the Justice League cartoon. <laughs> fuck out of here. Damn fucking got him. <laughs> Deleted. It was the Flash. That's fair. Uh, That's big fair. Flash and Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah, Flash was great. Yep, yep. Green Lantern was cool. <laughs> I do like John Stewart. I do. Yeah. Anyway, cool. I think he's. I think he's getting his own this, I don't know, but none of this is relevant to tabletop. Nope. So we're gonna wrap things up. Uh, I don't know. It's something something canceled. Fucking game get game bad. 
but I fucking don't yell Jesus at your players. Jesus Christ, Josh, put the fucking smoothie down. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't, I can't. I like how also this, I, turn, this was like originally like, what do you hate yet at your table? I think this has like become, uh, whenever Sam is in the warp, it's just going to be like bad takes two question mark. Mm, I don't know. Mm, maybe. <laughs> like, I feel Those like some bad of this. No, no, these weren't bad takes. Those were just complaints. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't know. You fuckers have any closing thoughts, questions, comments, concerns? Uh, Either you. I, uh, players, I, guess, I called uh, you out a lot this episode. I still love you. Damn. I mean, that's not exactly what I meant, but fair enough. No, no, I gotta uh, say it. I still love you guys. I called you out a lot. I do call y'all out a lot, yeah. but it comes from a place of love and fury. This is what we do. We bust each other's balls. That's what happens. Matt? Yeah. Oh, any final yeah, final yeah. thoughts? Uh, yeah, uh, I guess. Yeah, check uh, check your emotions at the game table. Remember, this is a game. Everybody, <laughs> fucking cool it. <laughs> fucking yeah, chill the fuck out. As uh, you know, my favorite uh, my favorite supervillain once said in the famous Batman Forever movie. Uh, chill out. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. Chill top out. That. <laughs> I, I can't top that, so I'm going to just say uh, subscribe on the YouTubes, follow us on your podcast platform of choice, and uh, please hit follow for the funny hee hee ha ha hoo hoo tweets. Yes. You know? They're hilarious, I'm told. I don't. I'm, I'm not that funny, but I try. Nice. <laughs> hey, guys, hey, guys, wait, wait. What killed the dinosaurs? Me. The ice Me age. when I shoot you with my gun. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll be back. No.